This wasn't just a meteor crater. It was something far stranger. A doorway leading deep into the moon. Billions of years ago, the moon was alive, not with life, but with violent, untamed energy. Rivers of molten rock carved through its crust, flowing like liquid fire. As they spread across the surface, they cooled, forming a hardened shell. But beneath this shell, lava still moved, pulsing like the moon's own lifeblood. Then, something extraordinary happened. The lava drained away, leaving behind vast empty tunnels, caverns so massive they could swallow entire cities. Scientists call them lava tubes, but to us, they may be something more, the key to living beyond Earth. Imagine stepping inside one of these colossal voids, no bulky spacesuits, no toxic lunar dust, just breathable air, an open space so vast you could fly. By sealing these tunnels and filling them with a breathable atmosphere, we could create the closest thing to Earth beyond our planet. Their thick basalt roofs, 30 to 50 feet of solid rock, would shield against deadly radiation and micrometeorites. Unlike fragile surface bases, these underground sanctuaries offer natural protection, reducing the need for heavy shielding and complex construction. But survival isn't just about shelter, it's about food. China's Chang'e 4 mission proved that seeds can germinate on the moon, but the surface it's a death trap for agriculture. Scorching heat by day, freezing cold by night. Nothing can thrive. But inside the lava tubes, a different story unfolds. Here, stable temperatures create the perfect conditions for lunar farms. Hydroponic systems could sustain crops, feeding astronauts for generations. And if we master this, the moon wouldn't just be a temporary outpost, it would become a permanent home. The first step in humanity's journey to the stars.